Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Now, I left you with an awfully mean cliffhanger last time, as we had a very confusing ending. And here is the final input. I... I... Um... Um... What? This is not exactly what I was expecting. What the fuck? Press a button. Press a button. Press... I'll press the blue buttons. I don't know what this is. This is weird. Buttons. Buttons. Um. Help me? Oh, are they not staying pressed? I don't know. Oh, yeah, they're not staying pressed. But you can press buttons forever. Does any of them look weird? Maybe one of them will get me out of here. Buttons. 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 Oh, I can break it, kind of. There you go, stuck now. Ha ha! Wedge myself in between. What am I meant to do? I don't know. I don't know what I'm meant to do. Ah, that didn't do anything. Buttons. Buttons. Oh my god, this is so weird. Is there an ending to this, or is it just this? I'm so confused. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's begin over again. I don't... Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega Wolf, and welcome back to Let's Play The Stanley Parable. And you might be wondering why that there's an intro to this about two or three minutes into the video. Well, because what you just saw was recorded a while ago in that single session, and now is, well, now. So what I'm going to do next is close my door. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. I couldn't! What if he had to make a decision? I see buttons. What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? <laughs> he had never been trained for that. No. <laughs> this couldn't go any way except badly. Yeah. The thing to do now, it's Stanley terrible. thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. No buttons. Nothing will break me. No more buttons. Here I can be happy forever. Buttons. I will be happy. Buttons. Buttons. Stanley waited. Buttons. Hours passed. Then days. So many buttons. Had years gone by. <laughs> he no longer had the ability to tell. I don't know. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Buttons. Someday, they would arrive. <laughs> soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Well, quickest ending in gaming history. You might also notice that I have the captions on, which is... It wasn't actually intended. I, I didn't mean to. I did that when I was just streaming through the game for various reasons. Uh, but yeah, so now what we're going to be doing is I'm not going to be showing you one of the two endings I haven't shown you yet. Uh, instead, I'll be showing you little hidden things on the main path you might be interested in. Uh, so let's go and have a look. Oh, employee 434, let me just rub my face against your desk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I'm on top of the desk. And there's a window right here. I could just... 
I could just escape. Maybe it'll allow me to glitch out the window and get out of this hellhole. Ugh! Yes! At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design. <gasps> He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into mm. the nature of video game structure mm -hmm. and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Mm -hmm. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Yes. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Oh, um... Uh, yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game. Oh, your... okay, I will do that then. Actually, no, what that'd be too easy. Want. Like, right now. All right, fine, if you really insist. Actually, no. You could have done it just then. I know I now could have. would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these <sighs> okay. points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. Oh. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. Oh, I could. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Oh, it. God. Oh. There once was a man named Stanley. <gasps> Who people considered so manly. Oh, yeah. But the truth must be told, he was not very old mm -hmm. and was quite particularly gangly. Oh. What Stanley liked most was buttons. Yeah. He pushed oh, them no. like some kind of glutton. <laughs> he reminded me of that place. In a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Dang. Which is why he is in this parable. Oh. And lives an existence quite terrible. Yeah. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. <laughs> you too will become quite unbearable. I... I've never been so moved by a game in all of my existence. <laughs> so that obviously makes me wonder, what did he say if I said no? Let's find out. Oh, papers everywhere again. God damn it. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Yeah. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. It's true. It's almost like a good old punch in my face. Oh! Okay. Well, that's a thing. Well, just gonna pop out here again. Help! Well, you can actually see that this was an area you could go to now. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. I think I have. Look at it! And realized it was part of the game's design all along. Okay. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Yes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Sure. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you mm, think? Are tasty. you this gag yet? Uh, no. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. Mm. But now, here comes the real question. Ah. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think oh. it would have been particularly different? Would Maybe. I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Yeah, oh, maybe. Now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other yeah. option is even longer? Oh, How God. long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens <gasps> in this one. Oh! So, 
What do you think? Which choice was the better one? Oh my god! Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Well, now, I if know. If the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say huh? that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Aww. Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Did I, did, did I win? I just feel like I was verbally abused somehow. Because we already know what the other option is, so I guess you guys are the lucky ones. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. So what Shocked, we need to do is Stanley wait for the narrator to stop talking for a moment. This. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not mm. have known was that the keypad behind the boss's oh, desk keypad. guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Yeah, two, I'm so eight, pro. Four, I'm so five. pro. Two eight four course, five. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Was that eight 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 eight? No, I, I guess it wasn't eight 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 eight. Ah oh, no! What? Ah oh, ah! Oh, I don't know the code, guys. I don't know. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. I did. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight. What was that? Eight 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 eight. Eight. <gasps> eight. Stanley simply began entering random codes. Eight. The keypad, knowing full well the shit two eight four five. Uh, he sounds. Look, you can tell he means harm. His text is in red. I'm sorry. I'll just cower. Or I'll play the piano. Do 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 do. Forgot, huh. but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, <laughs> and the door just <gasps> opened all by itself. Oh my and God! The hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Damn straight, whoop de do. Okay, so the next one is uh, all kinds of amazing. You have no idea. Okay, so here we are in the mind control facility. Let's activate the this. The light <gasps> on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have oh, the strength no. to find out? No! Buttons! So many buttons. Oh, the buttons, they're watching me. Oh, the buttons! I dream about them now. Oh. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Oh. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This is some scary shit, guys. Oh. I mean, if the buttons weren't bad enough, I don't know how Stanley's gonna make... How oh, Stanley's gonna get out of this one? Ugh. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. I know. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Oh no! Is this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Buttons. His emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly. Uh. Oh no! I could, I could go on this, and then escape. Maybe. Turn stuff off. No! I will open this door with my mind powers! Uh, I will focus all of my energy on opening these doors! Uh, buttons! There we go. I can't do it. I can't handle the stress. All this. It's just, it's it's on my shoulders, and it, I feel the, the weight. I have to, I have to turn this place off. This all happened when I pressed the lights button. Turning it all off may solve my problems. Let's press it again. Ah. <sighs>
Bet you weren't expecting a secret disco. You better be dancing. I know I am. Maybe this is what the narrator wanted to show us all along. Or maybe he just wanted to see our funky moves. Either way, dance mode engage. The best secret hidden in the game. Best secret ever. Oh yeah. What games need a secret disco? Go, go, secret rangers. Oh, oh yeah. Anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to show you on today's Stanley Parable. I will see you on the next one. Until then, keep on dancing to the funky disco. Oh yeah, okay, thanks, bye. Oh yeah.